Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. You got to love it. And I don't think there's a place in the country that's not steaming. The thing is amazing, right? You know, we're steaming down here. There's no doubt. But in Boston, man, they're steaming like about five degrees more than we are. And it's been there five days, evidently. So that's pretty intense, man. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge of great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, by loving yourself and loving others. Oh, yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 18, NASDAQ's off 119, S&P's off 20, gold contract down $18.70, trading at 1788. You got silver down 31 cents, $19.81, cents. light sweet crude, flat. $88.66 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down a point plus 12.6 at 119.12. The 30-year off of two and a half points at 141.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 929 ticks at 106.922. The Euro is at 101. The Yen is at 135 and the British Pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you come out with a jobs number that was huge. Um, <laughs> and what does the market do? Market goes south first. Here, check this out. This is so cool, man. It's sick. Okay, so we'll bring up the futures for a second. You're going to see this shake out, man. And this is. Bottom line, you got a trader's market out here in a monster way. So what do we do? Bottom line, comes out with the numbers, right? Goes straight downtown. Now watch what happens. You see, see how the volume contracted like dramatically? Like, that, that's telling you that, hey, guess what, man? Yeah, the deviance is going down. Well, guess what? We're going to go right back up. Well, watch what happens here. You not only go right back up. So see that first big bar? The first big bar has 54,000 contracts, right? So then, then we make a low there with... 24,000, right? And then watch this. The first bar off has 86,000 contracts, right? And if you want to see, if you understand time in the trade, folks, you know, we're always putting the bull against the bear and let's say the up against the down on volume. That's how I trade, okay? So you can see when we, when we came all the way back up, you had 59,000 contracts going against 57. It's like, okay, man, that's a lot, you know, by the way. It started giving it up, and then when we came back down, we made the next low at 51,000 contracts versus 86 on the way up. That's telling you, man, we're going right back to upside. And sure enough, what does it do? Flips right around at the 41.12 area, bottom line. What you have out here now is this. Now, let's go back to the SPY. I'm going to show you what you have. So, this has been, no doubt, quite a run off the bottom. That being said, it's not over, man. You know, what you have here, see, see this right here today? You have 44 million shares, right? So you get a down day. You're going against 87 million. Bottom line, we do about 50 million. That's, that's building cause, man. The, you find out more about markets, folks, on the counter trend move. And in this particular case, the counter trend move will be the move down because we've been going up for so long. And there's no, there's no sellers, man. That's the bottom line. You have no sellers, doesn't take much for buying to come in to accelerate to higher price. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs, now this is, this is what's cool here. It's just the opposite, actually, okay? So what you have with the, and, and the reason being is this, is that the Qs already showed that they had strength on Wednesday. Then we went to a higher high yesterday, and you know, bottom line, you know, yeah, it was slightly higher. You only did 38 million shares, but you can see what's happening. It rejected lower price today at 318.39. You're actually going to have as much volume as we're probably going to have higher volume than we did on Wednesday. That's pushing a swing and you're pushing it on volume. Then take this and you're going to put this on a weekly. And what you're going to see in the weekly, the bottom line is that last week we did 272 million. This week you're at 232. You're going to do about uh, 262. Okay. Bottom line. 
and you, you hang in price, this is the same, this want, keeps wanting higher price. Gold, we take a look at the gold contract out here. They slam gold, and the biggest part of this when, we, when we're doing this, folks, is gonna be the dollar. So, and bonds, actually, I'll show you what happened. So, the dollar, uh, gold, rather. Gold, they slammed gold down to 1780. It's at 1789. You're gonna see, though, the huge contraction of volume. So, we've done 160,000 contracts here, watch this. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so you're going against 174,000. You did 160. Bottom line, you know, you, have, you, have, you didn't even get to the low of yesterday. I know it's only a dollar, but the bottom line didn't get there. It should have got there. It should have been able to croak that thing, and it couldn't. Now, well, first, let's go to the bonds next, because you got to put the bonds together. So watch this. You're going to put the bonds together with the dollar. So we got this, we're down one point plus 10, six. This is shot volume, man. You know, we got 1.3 million, you're probably going into 1.7, 1.5. 1. Yeah, here it is. We're going into 1.79. Bottom line, this is just trading, period. And then we're gonna take the dollar. Because when you take the dollar, the bottom line is that this benchmark that we've been talking about it just can't handle this benchmark, man. I mean, and it's pretty cool. This is what's, what's so. This is what's so cool about this, folks. Okay, is that the the amount of folks, and I don't blame them. I mean, do you know what I mean? Rates are going up. You think the whole, whole you know, world's going to go to hell in a handbasket? Well, guess what? It's not, man. That's the bottom line. You can see we got to one oh six nine thirty. You're at 106,562. When this can't hold 106,792 on a day like today, that is telling you a huge amount. Um, what I would do, well, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. What I do is I, I put that doll together with the bond, knowing that in I don't have the volume on the, on the, the currencies, because no one does. The volume on the bonds, however, I have. And that's going to be a rejection of lower price and still wants higher price. The dollar wants lower price. The, NASDAQ wants higher price. The S&P wants higher price. We're going higher, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.